Tschüss. Reinvention is the key to any great company standing the test of time. And in a period where reinvention has never been greater, not only do companies need to have a plan, but employees need to be on board. Time Inc., one of the world's most influential media companies, knows this all too well. The company founded by Henry Luce has reinvented itself numerous times in its 90 plus years history. I sit down with Nancy Gibbs, editor-in-chief at Time and editorial director at Time Inc. News Group at the C-Suite Conference in New York City to discuss how Luce's vision still impacts the company today, how they deal with constant change in the media landscape, the importance of media getting it right the first time, and the current political climate. Are we facing an issue much like we saw in the UK with Brexit? And I'm going to have the Council General from Ireland here in a few minutes. Are we facing something very similar like that in the country? Not that we're going to vote ourselves out of the United right. States, but vote in terms of saying this is part of the reason why we're making the change at the top is because we're tired of seeing people come into this country? I think, you know, immigration is one of the, the obviously it's been a huge flashpoint, but it's, isn't it interesting that it's a flashpoint at a time when net immigration from Mexico has been going down? Or even the wave that we would talk about, we hear this wave of immigrant crime. Give me a break. There was 500 murders in Chicago by August of this year, that's not being done by immigrants. That's it, being done by Americans. So again, I guess I would say, what should it tell us that this, has, this issue has become such a rallying cry and such a flashpoint for a portion of the electorate about uh, much larger questions, and this is where Brexit comes in, about globalization and who feels it as a headwind versus a tailwind, for whom uh, the global economy feels like an enormous opportunity for them and their children versus those for whom they have they do not have access to its to its gifts and to its um, the opportunities that it brings. I think you know if if we just focus on immigration in the, in the the narrow sense of what we mean of how we secure the border or what our policy on on certain kind of visas is without thinking about it in terms of how people view their role in the global economy, their views of free trade, who it has worked for, who it hasn't, have we reached a period of peak trade or not. You know, those are the meta questions that I think are what are really driving a lot of the sentiment that we hear. And which business issues do you see at the forefront? Not only of just the election, but for the whole country. I have college age kids. And, and I tell them we are spending a huge amount of money to train you for a job that hasn't been invented yet. I think one of the huge business challenges for those of us who are already somewhere in our career and, and particularly for those who are looking to enter into the workforce is, is again, the pace of change is such that who is able to see around corners? Who is able to see whole new industries arriving? I mean, you know, I love the observation someone made about how we have among the, you know, the great disruptive new industries, uh, a, a, you know, Uber, which actually owns no cars, and Airbnb, which owns no real estate, and Alibaba, which has no inventory, and all of these companies and, that- And presidential candidates who have no ideas. So we're- uh, uh, You have, you know, we, we've sort of, taken out the middleman and, and, and completely rewired all of these major industries in ways that happened so quickly. And of course, our industry, you know, um, very much among them, where, you know, Henry Luce and his wildest dreams couldn't have reached the audience that I can reach now. It's, it's vast and global, and, and, uh, and we can reach them not just once a week with a product that's delivered to their home, but every minute of every day on a device that they carry with them at all times. It's an incredibly powerful opportunity. This is Jeffrey Hazlett. You've been on Executive Perspectives Live, and I've been talking time.